Hey everybody, Paul Humiller here at Dream Guitars and always nice to have a great Martin guitar. This one's from 2014. It's a D18 Authentic 1939. So the Authentic series, of course, is um, where they're recreating some of the great designs of old. This one, of course, based on the 1939 D18. Um, and it's got a couple of cool things about it. First of all, the sound. Let me just say that this one, you know, um, Martin guitars are all awesome, but they're factory guitars, so they're not all equal. In my opinion, factories have a disadvantage because they glue everything the same thickness in the same place time and time again, and sometimes they get really lucky, and sometimes they don't. Um, I think that's one of the advantages custom makers have is they're hand shaping every piece throughout the build, the same person with the same ears, um, so that they can just be more consistent. And that's what I find time and time again is somebody making 10 or 15 guitars a year is actually more consistent than a big factory, even though it might sound counterintuitive. But this one is a gem. I think um, the stars aligned. And what I, what I mean by that is it sounds great, um, but there's this extra warmth and this extra sort of richness and fullness to it. I was telling Greg, like when I play a G chord and just hit those top strings, it's got that nice bell-like chime, but there's a bit more meat there. Um, so for whatever reason, um, that's just the way I feel about this particular guitar. What I'll tell you about the top is it's an Adirondack top and it's got this really wide grain in the center and that may be part of what's going on here. It's also lighter than many Martins I've, I've I play so it seems to have a, a bit more lightness to it so maybe again just the wood was drier or maybe they made it slightly thinner who knows but um, again the stars just aligned I think so of course great Adirondack top the ebony fingerboard the Martin headstock You've got Waverly tuners on this one which are great functioning open back tuners and then all mahogany body um, at least back in size of course not the top um, which is the feature of the D18. So the 28s are all rosewood, the 18s are mahogany. And mahogany gives you that, that sort of woof and that power in the bass that many of us like, um, and a real clarity and bell-like chime as well. So that's the deal with D18s. Um, and then it's, of course, bound in tortoise, so you get that nice classic vintage look. So just a really great example to me of a modern Martin guitar. This one from 2014, the 1939 version of the authentic D18. First, I'm just gonna play a little single line stuff for you to hear what the guitar does that way. Nice and strong, especially up on the high parts of the treble strings. Mm -hmm. 